Ah, chipmunks. Aren't they something? They might seem like just another cute critter at first glance, but... But there's more to them than meets the eye. Right, absolutely. There's a surprising amount going on beneath the surface. Exactly, and we're at Jenkins Arboretum and Gardens for this one. You know, you picture these beautiful gardens and landscapes. Serene, peaceful. Right, but then you zoom in and you've got these little chipmunks just darting about. We actually came across this visitor's description that piqued our interest. They described them, get this, darting, zipping, always peeking. Those are some pretty evocative verbs. Right, it makes you wonder, what's the big rush? Always on the move. So let's start there. What's with all the energy? Well, it's not just boundless energy, although I'm sure they have plenty of that too. This constant movement is actually key to their role in the ecosystem. They're seed dispersers. Oh, I see. Yeah. Every time they dart, every time they zip, they're spreading seeds throughout the arboretum. So all that energy is actually helping new life to grow. So it's not just a game of hide and seek for them. It's actually a pretty important job. Exactly. And speaking of hiding, have you ever noticed their burrows? Well, I've seen the entrances. I wouldn't call myself an expert or anything. They're incredible. Ah. These burrows are surprisingly complex. Really? Oh, yeah. We're talking multiple entrances and exits, sometimes up to five, each one with its own specific purpose, too. Like what? Some are for quick escapes, you know, cleverly angled to confuse predators, and others lead to, say, food chambers or sleeping nooks. It's all very organized. Wow, a whole underground apartment down there? And these chipmunks are the architects. That's amazing. You know, it reminds me, this visitor's description mentioned them sunbathing. Sunbathing. It sounds almost too cute to be true, right? right? Like, are they really just lounging about, soaking up the rain? Yeah, as charming as it seems, it serves a real purpose. It's called thermoregulation. Thermoregulation. They use the sun's warmth to regulate their body temperature. Just like we bundle up in the winter or look for shade in the summer, they're doing the same thing, just in a, let's say, more adorable way. A lot more adorable. And speaking of adorable, those eyes. The visitor talked about their wide, curious eye. So imagine this, you're strolling through Jenkins, sunlight dappling through the leaves. And instead of just seeing a bunch of trees, yeah. we're about to unlock their secrets. Exactly. So no more feeling clueless in the Arboretum. First up, let's talk about a tree that knows a thing or two about toughness. The American beech. Oh, the American beech. A <laughs> classic. You'll recognize it by that gorgeous silvery bark, almost shimmers in the sunlight. Almost like it's been polished. It's really distinctive. And get this, it holds onto some of its leaves all winter. Yeah, they get all papery and brown, but just cling to the branches like ghostly decorations. A little spooky, but cool. Is there a reason they do that? Or is it just like a fashion choice? Oh, there's a reason. Those leaves, even though they're dead, they actually help protect the buds for next year's growth from frost and wind. Wow, so even dead leaves have a job to do. See, this is the kind of insider info I'm talking about. Exactly. Okay, ready for another one? Let's talk about the eastern hemlock. Hit me with it. What's so special about the hemlock? Well, it might not be the tallest tree in the forest. Some trees are all about that drama, right? Reaching for the sky. Right. But the hemlock, it's got this quiet elegance, those soft feathery needles. Oh yeah, I always think they look so soft. Not like those prickly pine needles. Exactly. And you know, those branches, as delicate as they look, they provide crucial shelter for birds in the winter. Ah, like a little safe haven from the cold. Exactly. Especially when it snows, the hemlocks become these little islands of warmth. I never thought about it like that. Okay, ready for a complete change of pace? Always. What do you have in mind? How about the tulip poplar? They just shoot straight up, like they're in a hurry to touch the clouds. They're all about efficiency, those tulip poplars, that tall, straight trunk, the way those leaves are angled to catch the sunlight. And the flowers, I mean, come on. It's like mother nature decided to play a prank. Are those really flowers or did someone glue tulips onto a tree? They're truly unique. And they serve an important purpose too, you know? They attract pollinators from all over. Right, it's like a giant welcome sign for bees and butterflies. Okay, up next, a tree with personality, the sweet gum. Ah, the sweet gum. Always a conversation starter. Seriously, those spiky seed pods, like what's the deal with those? And the leaves, they're like little stars fall into earth. And don't even get me started on the fall colors. Oh man, it's like the sweet gum just goes all out in autumn. From those deep purples to fiery oranges and reds, it's a spectacle. And that crunching sound those leaves make under your feet. Okay, sensory overload. Moving on, we have to talk about a true icon, the red maple. Uh, yes. 
a classic for a reason. I mean, they're everywhere, but you can't deny that scarlet color in the fall. It's just <laughs> breathtaking. It really is. And, you know, there's actual science behind it. It's not just random. It's all about the angle of the sunlight and how it interacts with the pigments in the leaves. So it's like a perfectly orchestrated light show. Exactly. Nature's fireworks. Okay, I am here for it. Okay, from fireworks to something a little more delicate, let's talk about the flowering dogwood. A symbol of spring and renewal. When those flowers bloom, it's like the whole arboretum is showering us with confetti. Pure magic. And they're not just beautiful, they're essential for our local ecosystem. They support pollinators, birds, the whole web of life. Okay, I'm convinced. Everyone plant a flowering dogwood. What do you have for us next? How about another stunner that knows how to make an entrance? The eastern redbud. Oh yes, the one with the heart-shaped leaves. It's too cute. <laughs> Those pink blossoms are like a burst of color against the still sleepy spring landscape. They just grab your attention. And for a good reason, they're early bloomers, so they need to stand out to attract those early pollinators. Smart move. Okay, this next one has a name that just doesn't do it justice. The black gum. I know, right? The name just doesn't scream, look at me, but then fall arrives. And bam, it's like someone set the tree on fire. Those crimson leaves are incredible. It's quite a transformation. And you know, those vibrant colors aren't just for show. There's always a reason, isn't there? Always. It's basically the tree's way of saying, Hey, insects, don't even think about laying your eggs on me. I'm about to drop these leaves. So it's like a defense mechanism. Exactly. Pretty sneaky, um, right? Trees are way more clever than we give them credit for. Okay, ready for our last stop on the tour. Let's hear it. What grand finale do you have in store? Let's wrap things up with a touch of elegance. The Japanese maple. Ah, uh, classic choice. <laughs> Always a crowd pleaser. Those delicate leaves, that graceful shape. It's like walking into a work of art. They really do add a touch of zen to any landscape. I'm feeling calmer already. So after this deep dive, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to trade my phone for a magnifying glass and head to the Arboretum. Ohio Pile is all about embracing the raw, untamed power of nature. And when we say raw power, Shang, we mean it. We're talking whitewater rafting down the legendary Yokagany River. The you to those in the know. Imagine this. You're in a raft, paddling with all your might as the river roars around you, crashing over boulders and creating those iconic Class 3 and Avi Rapids. And it's not just the rapids that take your breath away. The Yuhaiaging River has carved its way through some pretty spectacular landscapes over millions of years. Our sources mention the dramatic rock formations along the riverbanks, Remnants of a time when this whole area was a shallow sea. Wow, 